Hi everybody. We're wrapping up module six of our class and one of the things that I really value is how each and every one of you understand the centrality of what I believe this class is all about. Even though this class is called Developing Leaders of the Future, there's a common thread uh, or one could even say there's a subtext to everything that we've talked about especially as we've looked at these five practices of exemplary leadership from Cousas and Posner. I believe that common thread is this. Leadership is the ability to relate to others in a way so that your influence can play some part in their growth and ultimately in their flourishing. I've used words like relationship, rapport, connection, all in the context of motivation and influence from time to time, and all of these words and concepts can subsume together under the guise of transformational leadership. Now, if you recall some of those foundational principles of transformational leadership, there's words like idealized influence, individualized, intellect, inspiration, all these things, these words and concepts perfectly align with the exemplary practices from our authors. In this past module, we've been discussing when you've been encouraged. All of you shared a lot of stories from your own experiences about how you were encouraged or when you saw someone practice that encouragement. Many of you shared a lot of good practical things from the world of education, whether it was the way in which meetings were conducted, perhaps it's the tone of a brainstorming session, maybe their public accolades, or just giving basic recognition and giving attention. Others of you shared some organizational stories uh, and concepts that you can draw from, like being direct and clear and providing good feedback and making encouragement personalized. What ties all this together is that leadership, and for us, developing other leaders it's a human endeavor, and it's not simply just one thing that happens one time. I often think when I have these discussions about leadership, about the Kafka-inspired story of the Greek figure Poseidon. Poseidon missed the opportunity to develop others because he focused on his own issues and did not instill that environment where trust happens and where others could grow. So I hope that as you've now covered these five practices that you can, if you haven't already, start implementing them. Over time, your influence as a leader will definitely be seen. So I want to encourage you to keep it up because next week you're going to submit your second paper to the class and I'll have a video on that, so stay tuned. I want to take this moment to talk a little bit in terms of some of the tools that we've uh, talked about in class, whether it's in the discussion or not. And the first is the Leadership Practices Inventory. Some of you use the LPI 360, which is a 360 feedback uh, mechanism that's built on the five exemplary practices. And there's another thing called the, just the LPI Self. And I've taken this many times. The LPI Self is pretty much that it assesses it has questions and assesses your scores based on the five exemplary practices. Now, caveat is I don't work for uh, LPI, I don't work for leadership practices, nor even Kuzas and Posner, but I believe in these materials and always want to share that there's a lot of great stuff out there, and so I wanted to share some stuff in association with our class. Uh, another tool out there is called the Leadership Challenge Practice Book. Now, what this practice book is, is a series of really daily activities that you can look at uh, by way of, you know, a daily practice uh, that's built based on these five exemplary practices. So whatever it is, whether it's LPI or the practice book or any other tool to help develop other leaders, I encourage you to take a look at because you continue to grow as a leader as you explore these things far beyond the... Uh, concepts here in the class. All right. With that, I want to also say a give a great big shout out to Wendy 
Solid Hurlbut, who was our facilitator this week. Wendy, thank you so much for doing um, great facilitation and what I always call continuing the conversation about our topic. So once again, thank you, Wendy. Uh, great job. All right, with that, that wraps it up. I hope you have a great rest of the weekend. Continue to post as appropriate throughout the weekend, and I will see all of you online.